Let's, uh, I mean, this is kind of, this is another big one. This is like, this was a major goal of mine was to clear this solo. Now we find out if I can do it. All right, you guys ready? So I guess this is it. I guess this is the moment we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. So today, like the day where we basically did everything Doom. I want to do the same thing with Shadow Guard today, recognizing that this will be probably a lot harder. Um, I did a bunch of prep work, so we have a bunch of weapons here that we're going to use. We're going to get started by essentially crafting the weapons we need to do this. But the annoying part of reforging is already kind of out of the way. You can see I've just got tons of these elemental weapons ready to go. So there's a, there's a bunch of bosses and, and pre-flags we have to do. I will craft the weapon for the initial boss that I am the most worried about and see if I can do it. If I can, we, we continue and we move on to the next thing. So I think the first thing I'm worried about is that dragon thing. It's in the, the Belfry, I think. I believe I need a cold damage dragon slayer double axe. So I think we're gonna we're gonna start by creating the belfry weapon, and I think this weapon is usable for another, for one of the um, champion spawns as well. So that's good, right? Let's start off by powder fortifying this thing. You know how important that is. Okay, so I think we're ready to imbue. We got everything we need for this first item. So let's do it. Okay, so we got our Dragon Slayer on there. Oh, that was good. Okay. So we're... We're basically good. We got one weapon done. All right. Um, well, let's... Let's go try. What, what I know is, kill a drake, go up there, try to survive. That's the extent of my knowledge. Alright, so there's the dragon. Look, look at that. Look at all that loading in. Terrific. Feeding bell? Oh, well, the, the vile drake's not particularly uh, worrying, I guess. So does this guy... That wasn't that hard. How do I loot these guys? Do I loot them? Drake corpse? What do I... He's got a wing or something? He's supposed to have like a wing. Magic Drake wing. All right, there it is. Let's... <laughs> Here it goes. Should we honor this guy before we, give it, we go up? No. Okay, well, here goes. I think I've missed the honor. I need you to, oh boy. Oh, we're in big trouble. I can't sustain another one of those hits. Hmm, we're dead. I'm trying to avoid Man, this guy is hard to hit. Oh, he's shoving me off the edge. What a jerk. Hey, we got a treasure map. That's fun. Here goes. This is this is crazy. I need you to hit, buddy. I need you to hit. I need you to hit. Oh my gosh. Salmon is low. We are in, in trouble here. This thing hits like a truck.
I'm hoping that we're taking some gas out of his fireball as we damage him. What happens if I die here, by the way? Am I, do I just lose? But I die, I have to start over from 100%. That's a huge bummer. I think I just made a critical mistake there. Pushing me off. Hit him again. He's healing now. Crap. No, don't heal, dude. Dude, he's healing up a storm. Uh oh, a lot of misses in a row there. Dude, I got him. So the hardest flag we got done. Roof, we don't need anything. I don't think I need special weapons for the armory. I just need a generic elemental slayer for the fountain, we'll use fire, right? So all I need is an elemental slayer for fire. The rest of these, I'm good, right? I can just use whatever I've got. All right, let's let's uh, let's make item number two. We have powder of fortified it, right? Okay, so I think we're good, right? Let's, we've got our elemental slayer. Okay, so we got hit mana, hit stamina, blah, blah. Now we're gonna need hit life leech. All right, so item number two is done. The next thing we're doing is something called the fountain. And these things drop a bunch of like channels that you have to like filter water so do we just go for it i guess sure let's go for it i wonder if they spawn faster with more people because this feels really slow i thought i'd do a quick voiceover for the fountain because what i learned is that this particular requirement of shadow guard is kind of annoying um and there's some tricks that are helpful to get through this if you're by yourself so the way that this works is you kill monsters that spawn in this area and they drop these little tiles and these little tiles are channels and your goal is to get the four water fountains that are flowing to redirect that water into the drains. And it can go to any drain. So you can have two fountains going to one drain, for example. So on paper, it's pretty easy. So the tricky part with this is when you kill the monsters, the pieces that they drop only last for 20 minutes. Furthermore, the entire instance itself only lasts for 30 minutes. Where this is a problem is when you're by yourself as a single player, the spawn rate is so slow on the monsters that what ends up happening is, is as you're trying to construct them, uh, you not only start losing pieces uh, and you have trouble finishing sections, uh, but even if you have enough pieces and you get close, you also run the risk of running into the time being over at the 30 minute mark. There are a few easy ways to make this a lot more tolerable. The first way is really simple. Just bring someone in with you and have them hide. 
Um, it dramatically increases the spawn rate, so you're able to pick up all the pieces you need and construct it. You don't really find yourself running into that time issue. It's it's pretty straightforward at that point. So the other way that you can deal with, particularly if you are a single character and you don't have anybody to come with you, what you can do is zone in and simply wait. Don't kill anything. So the best way to do that would be to use invisibility, invisibility potions, uh, hiding, whatever. Just stay out of the way and let them accumulate over 20, 25 minutes. Go as long as you can. Once 20, 25 minutes has passed or because there's so many, you're not able to adequately use invisibility potions, go ahead and round them all up and kill them and loot all of the pieces that they drop. So now you're gonna have a backpack full of the tiles you need and they're all gonna have a really long duration, very close to 20 minutes. So from here, you have two options. The first option is you can try to rush with your remaining time and complete the puzzle right then and there. I don't recommend this because time is going to be short given how long you waited for those monsters to spawn. What I would recommend doing is instead hit exit shadow guard. You will leave the instance that you're in. The pieces will still be in your bag with a very long duration, close to 20 minutes. Just reopen another instance and start from scratch there. So you will essentially have a 30 minute instance to be able to use the pieces that are already in your bag to complete the puzzle. Meanwhile, while you're doing this, you'll be getting extra ones as more additional elementals spawn. As of today, I have tried both ways and both ways do work. Uh, in the video you're watching right now, the first time I did have someone come in with me and hide in the corner. Um, offline, I just tried doing this with the solo method that I described previously. It works, it's just kind of a bummer that it takes so long to do. You're kind of guaranteed to be invested for about 30 minutes when, you know, if you have a friend with you, you can probably get it in and out of 15 minutes. All right, back to the video. I guess we can just go to the bar and try that. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of clicking bottles. So we'll start there. Um, I think you don't want to attack generally. How do you, can you pick these up? How does this work? Just straight up pick them up, it looks like. I don't know how long this is gonna take. There is a macro that makes this a little more straightforward. You don't wanna hit these guys because I think they all do like reflect damage on you. Oh, these expire pretty quick. Okay, I gotta throw these. Got it, okay, I didn't know that. Does a lot of damage, obviously. So that's pretty much what this entails. Oh, I need, I think I actually need to go get a horse for what the, the orchard one. An horse that, a horse that will eat apples. Oh, here's your, here's your pirate. Can I attack this one like regular or do I gotta do it this way? Can attack regular? All right, we could try, I guess. an orc I don't know what the uh, so what do we want to see here right, we might as well like attack and throw right all right we're done the bar is now done I don't really know how to do the armory but we're gonna just kind of wing it. Let's see. I th I think you got to kill some dudes and then you got to do... Uh, you know, you got to like... You got to do something with these armors, I think. Cursed suit of armor. I think you got to like kill a monster. Let's see. Oh, you're right. All right, then I think you take these to the fire, maybe? I think you do that, and then I think you use that, these on this. I think? I don't know. I think that's a good time. I think we're done, right? Uh, and then we're going to do the apple orchard and then we're going for the rooftop. All right. I guess we're going into the orchard. So we've got four trees down here. 
We've got, I'm just marking them out in a spreadsheet. Oh, I didn't look up the inverses. So this one is, this one is spirituality. Okay, so we can feed this to the horse. This one is fifth law. Oh wait, is that right? Okay, feed it to the horse. Okay, so this one is compassion and that goes to despise. Okay, so this one here goes, I think it goes here, if I'm understanding how this works correctly. Right. Okay, so then this one is sacrifice. Sacrifice goes with covetous. So sacrifice goes here. And presumably this goes with this, right? Bingo bango, we are done. Okay, one more voiceover. For the sake of keeping things simple and not going too overboard showing crafting of the remaining weapons, I thought I would just quickly talk through the various weapons that we needed for the rooftop, which is the next part of the video. So there are four bosses on the rooftop. There's a Lich, there's Virtue Bane, there's Ozzy, and there's Anon. And we basically wanted to craft weapons for each of these particular bosses. I put all the weapons on the screen right now, and I will start talking through them, starting with the weapon I made for Virtue Bane. Now, generally, most of these weapons are going to be some combination of a Slayer, if applicable, uh, the three different leeches, and then something else, depending on what the particular boss is. The Virtue Bane weapon is no different. It has your three leeches, it has hit lower attack, and it has a Demon Slayer. So UO Guide actually lists Virtue Bane as a Demon Slayer vulnerable boss, but... After some experimentation, I don't believe it is. I actually think that's a mislabel. Uh, and so on this particular axe, that was a wasted property. We could have put something else on there that would have probably been more beneficial, but not a total waste. We can use this axe for other things. To the right of that, you'll see the weapon that we used for the Lich. This actually was just the weapon we used for the Undead in Doom. So we didn't actually need to make anything new, which was nice. Uh, the hit fire area, probably not super helpful, but overall it worked really well, so no complaints here. For Anon the Mage, we were able to reuse the Elemental Slayer Axe that we highlighted earlier in the video. And then the other weapon was basically a bladed staff that honestly probably didn't end up being optimal. I put Elemental Slayer on it. I don't think I actually needed to. Um, probably could have done this one a little bit better, but you know, that's something for a future video, how you do this optimally. You know, what you see on the screen is what we used this time. And lastly, on the bottom left, you'll see the weapon that we planned on using for Ozzy. I thought this was going to be pretty straightforward. You get your three leeches, you get hit harm, you get uh, hit lower defense, and I thought this would overall be a pretty quick, simple one. This ended up being really complicated, and later in the video, when we actually get to the fight, uh, you will see I had to make a major change, um, but for now, I won't introduce that particular change right now. Uh, just know going in initially, this is what I thought would work. All right, so back to learning the rooftop. All right, you guys ready? So I guess this is it. I guess this is the moment we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Okay, this is who we wanted. Oh, I already hit him, or did he like? Why is he already at ninety six? Doesn't matter. I don't need to honor him. This is worrying. I don't feel like I'm doing any damage to this guy. Why is my damage so friggin' low? I don't... This isn't feeling doable, guys. How was the damage so low? Something wasn't right. What could have been causing the low damage? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense, right? With double slayers... And his resistance is being only 50... I'm thinking it's not a demon either. I think you're right about that. Which means Ver UO Guide is wrong. All right, we'll, we'll try enemy of one. Oof, we got him to 60. 
Okay, so with an honor, if we can get an honor to work, I think we might be doable here. There he is. We're just gonna hang out over here for a bit, maybe? Let him wander off? Looks like he might already be off. He's off. He's not... 100 yet. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got him. I got him. It didn't look like I did, but I did. There we go. That's what we need right there. That series of misses there was uh, unfortunate. I think we're going to get him, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, that was a series of like five misses in a row. Yeah, it was close. We went bad at about this time last time. So we, let's not get too excited. Okay. Virtue Bane's dead. All right. So Virtue Bane can be killed. We started honorable combat. There's a worrying amount of not swinging happening here going on. Ooh, man. I can't hit him. Uh, I'm not real sure how we're going to handle that. I couldn't hit him. But does he, count as a, does he count as an elemental in that phase? He's a human at that point. This is, all right, here's Anon, our buddy Anon. So we need to switch, switch that out. And then we need to put our Anon fighting weapon on. All right, so we have the Duelist Edge equipped now. Oh, I was expecting a, uh... this is pretty, this is pretty rough, dudes. Just the misses. Now we need to Onslaught. I don't think honor really makes much difference here just because his he's so hard to hit okay so anon is killable we know it can be done this is the guy you're saying is no joke for me how bad is this guy gonna wreck me That's a lot of stuff. Well, that was interesting. So I think... Okay, so I don't think I can tank four of those skeletal dragons at the same time. This dude... Okay, there, he dropped. Okay, he dropped. So we gotta wait for him to hit 100. Well, enemy of one. Honor him. All right, we're ready. Let's go. I don't know why his target drops whenever I run. Started honorable combat. All right, we're engaged. I'm gonna let him come my way. All right, buddy, come on over. Right now, I'm just trying to think of this as practice mode. Oh, so he doesn't drop four skeleton, skeleton dragons every time. It looks like he only... I got really unlucky the first time. Okay, so I think we can safely say this, this Lich is the easiest one of all of them. Two down. To beat this encounter, we got to kill four. One I haven't tried yet. The other one kills me three out of four times. Who's up? Who's up? Oh, it's the new guy. This is the only unknown of the group. We don't, oh, 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 oh. This is the only guy we don't, I've never fought. I don't know what to expect. What, 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 what is, what does he do? I'm gonna, maybe I should go Google that real quick. He's gonna run the whole time? I might try to outrun him here. Oh, that's no good.
I'm trying to whirlwind here. Oh boy. Okay. Please get me out of here. Take the pet. Take the pet. Take the pet. Oh, he survived. Okay. Okay, we gotta practice him. This guy seems tough. Here he is. Get round two on him. Started honorable combat. Let's go, buddy. Let's get out of the way. This is going to be another really slow one. Okay, so we got to do a dragon. Man, that... He's toast. Oh, did he survive? Good for him. Gosh, every one of these guys is proving challenging. But you're right, his, his damage is really not a concern. It is... The things that come with him that are a concern. Okay, he's down. He's at 100. I'm going to try no enemy of one here, just to see what that looks like. My issue with that is, is then I run away. I can't get away if I'm dismounted, which seems to be fairly frequently. This is going to take forever. Man, look how little damage we do when we don't have armor penetration. It's like zero we can't get him below 92. I mean, I think we can get him, but like, oh my gosh, it'll take all night. Again, can't really make heads or tails of why randomly. He's not swinging. Why is he not swinging? Guys, honestly, I don't know the answer to this. I, I don't want to, I don't want to fight this guy for two hours just to have that happen. Like, I, I honestly don't know what that was. Like, Ozzy is the one that I'm worried about. I might actually just try to do a, f a legit run here. Here he is again. Allowing you to parry magical... Okay, here's Virtue Bane. All right. I will right, make a real we'll make a real run at this. We'll try Virtue Bane. We're going to go we're going to go for this and get ready for some serious salt when it goes poorly. All right. Let's get in there. Honorable combat started. Let's get him up in the corner. All right. Let's get some hits in here, dude. Trying to watch for his like bomb attack. I didn't. That was. I was looking for it. I looked down for a split second. They all dead. Thanks, Barding Deed. You make the game a little bit more tolerable. Okay, one down. All right. Where is he? Oh, he teleported on top of... Okay. Honorable combat started. Oh, wait, we don't need that. We're piercing. Shoot, what am I doing again? I'm, I'm kind of freezing. I forgot what we're doing here. I feel like this guy's giving me a harder time than I recall. Could be wrong. That is hitting me kind of hard right now. I'm gonna scoot out of there for a second. Look at how much I miss. Oh, this is awful. Look at the misses. Just look at him. There's no point in even honoring this guy. Look at this. That's like six, seven. Like seven misses in a row there. Thankfully, he's kind of gassed on mana, I think. So he's just hitting me with nonsense. But this is brutal.
This guy, gosh, he's so much easier to hit. He's got to have lower wrestling or something in elemental form. I don't know what it is, but something he's easier to connect with. Give me the Lich, please. Give me the Lich next. I don't want the Lich last. Okay, we gotta switch gear. Lich, please be the Lich. The Lich. He just jumped off the ledge though, so we gotta give him a second to see if he's hundred. All right, he's a hundred percent. Enemy of one's fresh, refreshed. We got honorable combat off. Okay. Here it goes. not gonna get excited i don't know what his little discord thing is could be ugly i'm really nervous about this guy for some reason I, had, I did decide before that I wasn't going to just tank all of his things and run away, but those didn't... Okay, three down. This is the tough... This is the one we've never beaten. This is the one we've never beaten. Okay, it's time to engage. I'm going to recast this just because I'm... Paranoid. All right, honorable combat started. We can fight him anywhere, I think. All right, so play super conservatively. That's the that's the name of the game here. You see those things, you bolt. Who else is up? Anybody? Just these two. Okay, switch back. Enemy of one. We're 88% right now. This is infuriating. Like, is he rege- Part of me wonders, like, is he regenerating faster than I can damage him? I'm trying to keep my mana like above 40, like uh, above 40 ideally. He's still at 80%. This is insane. I'll admit this is a little dry. But we're, we'll be very satisfied if we can beat it. Kind of want to maybe bolt and regen some mana a little bit. If I go like all the way to the corner, I feel like I can build some pretty good distance on him. And then he does that. Need some mana, please. The swinging stopped. I think that's all of them. There we go. We got some mana back, people. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a huge knowledge bonus right there. That is very, very, very helpful. I'm going to leave these ninjas here. Or were they? They were mostly wolves, right, over there?
Okay, I'm just trying to fan these things out. Are there any more? This one here, it looks like. I can't get him below 64. I'm done. I took enemy of one off, guys. Honestly, I, I don't think I want to do this. Like, I think I could do this, but I don't think I want to waste any more time with this. This is not meant to be soloed like this. Straight up. I just don't think this is a, this is a good use of my time. I don't know what you guys think. So should I ask them if they should like and subscribe? Uh, no. Make sure you check out all the videos in the series. I've linked above the full playlist so that you can start from the beginning and, and watch through all the way to the end if you're interested. Thanks for watching.